Beautiful insects you have never seen. The number of insects that now exist is unknown because there are so many insects in the world and new species are being found every day. We rarely see some of the most beautiful insects because we find some of these insects in places that's untraveled. Sit back because TWN will let you know about some of the prettiest insects on planet Earth. For example, the blue carpenter bee. Their color serves as a symbol of who they are. These bees can be purple, blue, or green in hue. Carpenter bees' favorite season unpainted wood. Redwood, cedar, cypress, and pine are some specific types of wood. Blue copper to bees are capable of drilling holes in wood that are up to 1.5 inches in diameter. Copper to bees are also referred to as wood boring or mining bees. Large and intimidating bees, blue copper to bees are well recognized for this. The displayed image should be helpful for identifying the differences between bumblebees and copper to bees, which can be challenging for novices. Blue bee locations. All Southeast Asia, including Indonesia, India, and China, is home to the blue copper to bee that have a range with a standard dimension of 23 millimeters or 0.91 inches. Despite having recognizable body features, they can resemble bumblebees. The four life stages of blue copper to bees are egg, larvae, pupa, and adult. Now let's talk about 13 other rarely seen animals you may never encounter in the wild. Poppy Leo Banoa. Common peacock, Chinese peacock, and black swallowtail emerald are all varieties of the butterfly Poppy Leo Banoa, but the size of this species varies. While those that emerge in the summer can reach 12 centimeters broad, those that emerge in the spring only reach 4 to 8 centimeters. The four wings are dark black with green scales and dark vining, brown undersides with dark vining that turns white in the distance. The tails and ridge margins of the hind wings exhibit reddish eye spots. Scales on the black body are green in the four wings. The male bears black hair while the female has none. Cometh Moth The Madagascar rainwoods are home to the African moth known as the Comet Moth or Madagascan Moon Moth, one of the largest silk moths in the world. The male is 20 centimeters in length from tip to wings to tip to tail. Blue Banded Purple Wing the blue banded purple wing, also known as white and blue wing, tropical blue wave, and royal blue, is a butterfly that may be found in Honduras, Costa Rica, Panama, Venezuela, Ecuador, and Peru. It can also be found in South Texas and Mexico. Ethiopian Buffalo Beetle Buffalo beetles, sometimes known as smaller mealworms, are a natural way to keep your insect colonies clean because they eat any decaying organic materials that help reduce the presence of odors, insects, mites, mold, and fungi. Giant Wood Moths With some females weighing up to 30 grams, the giant wood moth is the heaviest moth in the world. The wood moth's caterpillars use plant roots as food but the adults don't consume anything throughout their brief existence. Some types of wood moth larvae, often known as witchetty grubs, dig into eucalyptus trees with smooth bark. The tunnels they leave behind in the bark widen as they get bigger. Before emerging as moths, they may remain inside the tree for up to a year. The newly emerging tiny caterpillars are said to eat plant roots as they descend to the ground on silken threads. As adults, they cannot eat and have a short lifespan. Before passing away, the heavy females lay roughly 20,000 small eggs. Elephant Beetles 
The three-horned elephant beetle appears to belong on a planet where dinosaurs formerly roamed freely. Whether than an elephant beetle is a major or a minor elephant beetle determines how long its horns are. Most elephant beetles have a single long horn and two side horns that are significantly shorter. On small beetles, the side horns are considerably shorter than the central horns. Females lack the horns that males have. Instead, they have tiny growths on their heads and their place. The length of an elephant beetle varies from two and a half to three inches. Brown tail moth. Only the coasts of Maine and Cape Cod are home to the invasive brown tail moth. This moth is a pest that poses a risk to both human and forest health. On sensitive people, the brown tail moth caterpillar's small toxic hairs can result in dermatitis resembling poison ivy. Indirect contact with flying hairs or a direct touch with the caterpillar can both cause dermatitis in humans. The hairs escape from the caterpillar, whether it is alive or dead, or they come off cast skins as the caterpillar molts and become airborne. The majority of those who are impacted by the hairs get a localized rash that lasts for a few hours to several days, but in certain sensitive persons, the rash can be severe and last for several weeks. Both a chemical reaction to a poison present in the hairs and a physical irritant when the barbed hairs embed in the skin cause the rash. It can cause considerable respiratory difficulty to breathe in the hairs. Picasso Bug Picasso displayed his artwork on his canvases, but the Zulu Hud Bug has a similarly captivating design on its back. The insect, also referred to as Picasso Bug, has an eye-catching appearance that serves as a warning to predators. When disturbed, it also gives out an offensive odor. South Africa, Ethiopia, and Cameroon are among the countries in Africa where the Picasso bug is indigenous. Orchid Mantis The orchid mantis is white with pink highlights that might be subtle or overt. Some are all white, some are entirely pink, while yet others are a bit of a mix. Depending on factors like humidity and light levels, one mantis can change its color in a couple of days. This species' legs have lobes that resemble flower petals. White and pink flowers in bushes and tiny trees make up its native environment. By doing this, the mantis can avoid being spotted by potential predators like birds, while also catching pollinating insects drawn to the flowers. Cuckoo wasps the majority of cuckoo wasps are tiny, rarely growing larger than 1.2 centimeters or about 0.5 inches. Typically, it is a metallic shade of blue or green. When startled or assaulted, the insect can curl into a ball thanks to its flexible abdomen. Coastal Peacock Spider Arachnids of the class peacock spider are most common in Australia while one species is also found in some regions of China. Although the species has several names, such as Arbus, which means white, which is directly related to their physical characteristics, there is no exact translation to the genus name Maritus. Male peacock spiders are distinguished by their brilliant colors, vigor, and mating rituals. The lifespan of a coastal peacock spider is one year. Gooty Sapphire Tarantula The Gooty Sapphire Tarantula, an old world arboreal spider, is found only in India. Other names for it include Metallic Blue Tarantula and Peacock Parachute Spider. Taking this species out of its natural environment is prohibited since it is a highly endangered species. If you purchase one of these spiders, it would be a captive breed specimen. In the U.S. and Europe, several people have had success raising these tarantulas. Spiny Flower Mantis 
The spiny flower mantis is a beautiful and colorful flower mantis. When they are adults, their wings feature a gorgeous color patch that resembles an eye. They are white with orange and green stripes. Although they are usually solid, this species can hunt vigorously once they have located their food. They are easily agitated and react violently to even the slightest interruption. Due to their size, this mantis cannot eat large prey like adult locusts. Instead of eating locusts, they eat moss and flies. If you learned anything from this video, then you should like this video and then share this video with your friends. Oh, and make sure you subscribe to our channel as we will upload more great videos in the future.